Welcome to the second video about quarter sawing. In this video, I'm going to show how we actually do the quarter sawing of the white oak that we cut in the last video. In that video, I took the log, prepared it, cut it in half, and cut it with a chainsaw to get it so it would sit flat in the sawmill so it was ready to go for this next step. We start things off by me loading the sawmill with the crane, and you'll notice that it goes right on the sawmill, sits flat, and then we're ready to start cutting. So it's a nice day and Mike decided to join me. He came up out of the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Hi YouTube. He doesn't have his shirt on either. Oh. He's not ready to work, but he's gonna be put to work. So here we go. So we've been cutting the log and at this point we are just now getting to the quarter sawn boards. All the ones that we cut above this point were all rifts on. They're just part of the quarter sawing process. There's really no way around it. The, this is the small half. The other half is on the truck. It'll have some quarter sawn boards here and here. This one only has quarter sawn boards right here through the middle. Then the rest of these will be rifts on as we go down. Now we're down to the quarter sawn face. You can see how nice it is. It's really straight grained and it's got the rays showing up. These ray patterns are radiating from the center of the tree coming out this way. So when you get a perfectly quarter sawn board like this, you get nice straight grain and you get the rays. You're cutting right along and across them. As I'm finishing up this smaller log half, you can see I'm down into the rift sawn boards. They're really straight grained. The only thing they're missing is the quarter sawn figure of the rays going across them. The rays are actually going down at this angle instead of going straight across. So it'll be really straight grain, but the rays won't show up. Okay, now it's time to really talk about quarter sawn wood. I've got the big half of the log in the sawmill. We just got done cutting, it was yesterday, but we just got done cutting the small half, which was over here. This big half, it's off, the center is off cut, offset a little bit here, so we can save our best quarter sawn boards here in the middle, so we're cutting those on the sawmill and not with a chainsaw. So the best quarter sawn boards in this log are along the rays that come from the center of the log. So it's really nice in oak because the end of the log cracks where the rays are at. So you can see the rays coming out from the center. All along here, all the cracks basically. So quarter sawn boards, no matter where they're cut out of the log, as long as they're going along those cracks with the face along those cracks is a quarter sawn board. So the trick with quarter sawing is to, in a square operation, meaning you're cutting square, straight pieces, to get the lumber cut relative to the center of the log, which is round. So there's only so many choices you have. It's, you could do it, but it'd be very hard to cut the log in circles like this. Cut a board, straighten it up, cut a board, straighten it up. So you're limited by the fact that you gotta cut everything square. So what we're looking at is this bottom here is where I cut the log so it would fit, fit, so it would fit, so it would sit flat in the sawmill. So I just put it on here with the crane. It sits nice. It's all lined up and ready to go. We're ready to start cutting. The best quarter sawn boards are right here. 
quarter sawn. Right here, quarter sawn. And right here. This is the best quarter sawn board area. You can cut them however thick you want. I'm just kind of marking out where I would cut generally. So when you get up to here to these quarters, then they start to be rift sawn. Everything here, the rays are going across the boards at a 45 degree angle, approximately. Now the closer you get to these pieces, over here, over to here, and down to here, the more quarter sawn they are, but they're still rift sawn. They won't have the rays showing up. They'll be straight grain, but they won't have the rays showing up. So our intention here, and this, by the way, this is basically trash. We're gonna throw all that away. So I'm gonna start by cutting, diving down here to the middle, cutting right about here to get this top half out of the way. It's basically a quarter, even though it's got a little bit extra on there. We'll cut some boards here and then we'll process these two quarters, this part right here and this part right here. We'll process those separately, flip them up and start cutting boards from that. So that's what we're doing next. I just made that first cut on the log and it shows you really clearly what's going on inside the log and you can see what we're kind of going for. This face is still nicely quarter sawn. There's actually another board with this exact same looking face and the piece I just took off. So I'll probably get a board out of that quarter I just took off. That's really nice and looks just like this one. This also shows you where the nice board's at, which is right here, and where the waist is at. This is the center of the log, so the very center, it's like a core of an apple. We're gonna get rid of that. It's cracked, it's checked, it's low grade, it's gonna really be junky, good piece of firewood. So we'll be cutting that out and trimming the board up so it'll be right here. Nice and straight grain with the rays going across it. Really nice piece of quarter sawn lumber. Now we're just gonna continue through this until the quarter sawn lumber falls off and then we'll start working on the lower quarter. As nice as this piece of wood looks right here, it's not what we're going for. I'm getting down to the point where it's not quarter sawn anymore. I'm starting to get really a lot of flat sawn figure here. There's rift sawn boards out here. It's time to flip it because there's good quarter sawn boards going this way and we need to get those cut out before we get too far down here. So we've been focusing on quarter sawn wood, which is what I'm trying to produce out of this log, but there's also a fair amount of rift sawn wood. So these boards here are quarter sawn, but when I get up to here, the rays from the tree are coming at an angle, like this. So those are all rift sawn. Everything in this area is a rift sawn board. So then the question is, what do you do with those? Well, first of all, they're narrower than all the quarter sawn boards. The quarter sawn boards, the best ones out of the log, are always as wide as possible because they're coming straight from the center of the log. These, as we're working down, you can see, or working up, however you want to look at it, up here, we got the round of the log. This board can only be that wide, that wide. These will finally get to the, almost the width of the quarter sawn boards, but wrist saws are always narrower than the quarter sawn boards. So sometimes I like to cut not only lumber out of these because they're gonna be narrow, but also table legs. And the reason is because riffs on table legs, let's imagine it's right here. They've got the rays going across them like this. So from all four sides, when you look at, no matter what direction you look at it, 
there will be straight grain. If you were to cut that same thing, you'd say, I want a quarter sawn looking leg. If you cut that same leg down here, you'd get a quarter sawn face on your leg here and here, but then here you'd have a flat sawn face. They look totally different. So this up here is a good spot to not only cut lumber, but to also cut squares for legs. I'm gonna do that right here, and that'll make this section right here be a square for a leg, and then I'll just cut lumber all the way down until I'm out of log. I've got this chunk cut and it's going to be a good example so that you can see how we go from rift sawn to quarter sawn as we move through the log. This board right here, nice and straight grain, it's rift sawn and the rays of the tree are going up about this angle. So as you start shuffling through the boards, the angle of the rays which are going across the board get closer to parallel to the face. So the rays will start showing up as we go down the tree. So here's some rays kind of showing up, but this is still basically a uh, rift sawn board. We keep going. Now the rays are starting to show up nicer as the angle gets more parallel to the face. So if we keep working down, you can see the rays starting to show up. Looking nicer. Those are really good looking boards, by the way. And here you can really see the rays show up. So these are the best quarter sawn boards. They're the most, uh, they're the most quarter sawn, meaning they got the rays showing up almost parallel right across the face. And then this one is the best. Right through the center. And you can see these rays right there, we're cutting right across them. And that right there is a really nice quarter sawn board. I got the last quarter here in the sawmill and I would normally just cut straight through here, get the quarter sawn lumber here, and then this would be all rift sawn. But on this face, I still feel like there's a couple good boards over here. So what I'm gonna do is cut down to about here, quarter, cut through there, which is quarter sawing, finish that up, and then I'll take this piece, flip it up, and cut down through that. So I've added one extra step. There were some really nice quarter sawn boards in this last piece. I'll flip through them so you can see them. Unfortunately, there's one knot right there, but otherwise pretty good. There you go. Getting down to some really nice quarter sawn stuff. Let's get that last chunk finished. This particular piece has a little bit better lumber on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight through this, finish up at the bottom, and then this chunk's all done and the log's all done. All that we gotta do after that is to edge the lumber, but I'm not gonna bore you with all that. So after this, we're done. This is the last piece. Thought we'd have a look-see before we go home. Nice and rift sawn. The rays are getting flatter. 
You're going to start showing up here a little bit. Still wrists on. Nice and straight grain, except for that one knot there. Thank you. Getting a little bit more quarter on. Some rays showing up. Looking really nice. Still got that pain in the neck knot there, but looks good. And the last board. Okay, it's pretty nice. This is the other side that I wanted to keep right here. That one looks really good. That's it. I'm going home. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. That's all folks.